In today's video, I'm going to show you how to customize the watch face on your Garmin Forerunner 955 watch. Now I'm using the solar version. This video should work the same even if you don't have the solar. And I'll also say this video is very similar if you happen to have the Phoenix or the Instinct and you're trying to customize the watch face on those. The Garmin watches all kind of operate the same because the operating software is the same. So when you get your Garmin watch, you're basically going to start looking at it and say, oh, okay, how do I change this? I don't like the watch face that's on here. It's very simple. Now I'm going to show you all of this stuff using the buttons. You can also use touchscreen functionality if you're more of a touchscreen guy, at least on the 955 or if you've got one of the touchscreen watches. We're going to start by pressing and holding the middle button on the left hand side. When you press and hold that button, it'll always take you to your menu. And the first thing you should see under your menu is watch face. I'm going to simply choose that by either clicking it if I use touchscreen or I'm going to press the upper right button and that will take me into my available watch faces. Now I can use the middle button on the left to go up or I can use the uh, lower button on the left to go down and see all of the available watch faces I've got. When you get to the very bottom of the list or the very top I should say, either way, you'll have the option to add a new one and you can go out there and add a different watch face other than what you're currently seeing. But I'm going to choose one of these. So for purposes of this video, let's say that this is the watch face you like. You can press the upper right button and simply uh, apply it. If I do apply, it's basically going to set that as my current watch face and now I'm ready to go. But you can also customize each individual watch faces on your watch. And the way we do that is the same as what we did before. We're going to press and hold the menu button. We're going to choose the watch face. In my example, I already like this watch face. So I'm going to choose that one again, but this time, instead of just applying it, we're going to go down to Customize. I'm going to choose Customize. The upper right button will always be basically your Select button. It's the same thing as you clicking a value. When you're on the given value, you press the upper right button, it'll select it. So let's go through each of these things. We can choose the layout. So here's my current layout. I can use the, I'm basically going to be using these two buttons and this button the whole time. I can do that layout this one, this one, so on and so forth. You'll see this little menu over here that's showing me where I am on the list of available values. And then I can always go back up to any one that I choose. So this one looks pretty clean. If you want to choose it, you're going to press the upper right button. Now we've chosen that one. We're going to go down to customize again. And we've done our layout. Let's go look at the seconds option. Now, different watch faces will have different options. So some watch faces might not have seconds available. Some watch faces will. Uh, some watch faces will have different data fields available than other ones. I'm going to choose seconds. And let's see. I basically have the option of seconds. Seconds showing over here. Seconds, I guess, in a smaller uh, thing going around so on and so forth, or no seconds at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off seconds completely. Again, we're gonna go through and we're just gonna keep customizing. So now we've done our layout, we've done our seconds. Let's choose the data. And you're gonna see, when you go in here, the first field's gonna start blinking. And again, I can use the up or down button to choose my different data fields. So what do I want in that field? Let's see, let's do my stairs climbed. I can press the select button, it'll take me to my next data field. What do I want here? I like my steps, I'm going to keep that there. Or if I wanted to change it, I could simply go through and pick a different value. Down here is my sunrise sunset time. Let's go ahead and pick something else. Okay, we'll pick our barometric pressure and our barometric pressure trend. Press the select button. Once you've gone through all of the data fields for that given screen, it will basically take you back to your menu. Let's go to customize. I can change accent colors. So for example, do we want it to look like that? Or do I want this to be blue, light blue? And I can sit here and go through all of the different values. And again, this will vary depending on the given watch face that you're using. Some will have lots of things to choose from. Some will not have any things to choose from. Press the upper right button to select. Continue on through. The last thing is going to be the background color. Do we want a light background? Do we want a dark background? So let's set it as the light background. Now we've got what we want. I'm going to press apply and I've successfully edited this watch face. So not only did I choose the watch face that I wanted in terms of the general layout, 
but I went through and I customized the color of it. I customized the background color. I customized the data fields and I'm ready to run. Now, the other thing I should mention is I'm going to go ahead and press and hold the menu button again. I'm going to choose this watch face. I'm going to select on um, the submenu for it. In the event that you didn't like the watch face, you could go down and do delete and you could totally delete it off of your watch. Not to worry, you could always go re-download it if you went back someday and said, oh, I don't know why I deleted that one, it's pretty cool. Um, you do have the option to delete it. The other thing that I should mention is we've got this watch face the way we want it. Let's say tomorrow though, we wanna change things up. I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna choose a different watch face. So let's choose this one. The one that we just edited will stay in our watch face listing and it will stay edited the way that we predefined it. So let's say in a week I decide I want to switch back to that other watch face. I can press and hold menu, choose watch face, go down and there it is the same way as it was when we edited it. So you don't have to go back through and redo all the steps I just showed you. Get the watch faces that you want on your watch. That's the first thing probably is go through your list of watch faces, delete the ones you're not interested in, then the ones you are interested in, go through watch face by watch face and set them up the way you want. It's kind of cool. You might want a certain watch face for when you're at the office and you might want a certain watch face for when you're uh, deer hunting or a certain watch face for when you're doing activities. You can totally do that. Anyway, that's the basics of how to customize our watch face on our Garmin 4Runner 955. I hope the video helps.